Hi students. Okay, today in this lecture we discussing the topic is applications of first order differential equation. So in the previous lecture we discussing the top topic the first application is Newton's Newton's law of cooling. Okay. So in this one the second application is law of natural growth or decay. Okay. First of all see that um, statement. The rate of change of amount x of t of chemically changing substance is proportional to the amount of the substance present at that time. And any substance by changing the chemically, the original amount of the that substance, the rate of change, uh, the rate of change of the that substance is proportional to its original amount at that present time. That is equal to here we can write that is dx by dt is proportional to x. So x is the amount of the that is the value of the given any substance that is rate of change dx by dt is proportional to the same amount at the same time that is at the present time. So take the proportional constant so dx by dt is equal to kx where k belongs to or k is any real number when k is the positive that value is uh, increasing that is law of nature growth when k is a uh, negative the value is uh, decreasing and that is called uh, law of nature decay so there is two ways right on this differential equation can also describe in simple way the population growth deactivate to decay so we have to finding using the this equation and this is a first order differential equation finding population growth and uh, radioactivity decay we have to find simplification using this one ok now so next one x increases as t increases then we can take dx by dt is equal to kx where k is a positive the increasing and the value so if x decreases as t increases then we can take dx by dt is equal to minus kx and okay, minus is a indicate decreasing okay, k is a positive otherwise you choosing kx, k is the negative. So both are same. And so this is the second application. Law of nature growth or decay. See the example here. The number of n of bacteria in the culture growth at a rate proportional to capital N. The value of N was initially 100 and it is increased, increased to 332 in 1 hour. What is the value of N after 1 and a half hour? So a given statement we have to finding the, the number of bacteria after 1 and a half hour. Okay. First of all write the given statement. So given n is equal to 100 at 0 hours and at, uh, n is equal to 332 at 1 hour after 1 hour. So now we have to finding capital N at time is 1 and a half hour. Okay now using the this is a growth here na? by using law of nature growth by using it dn by dt is equal to kn where k is a positive. Now, solve, now solving this equation first of all by variable separable method. So 1 by n into dn is equal to k dt. Now integration on both sides. So 1 by indication of 1 by dn is equal to indication of k dt. That is log n plus log n is equal to kt plus log c. Log c is a constant. Log c right inside. That is log n by c is equal to kt. Here base e n by c is equal to e power kt. n is equal to c into e power kt. So this is a solution of the law of nature growth ok na? now substituting given data in this one at 0 hours n is equal to 100 100 is equal to c into e power 0 that is c is equal to 100 at 1 hour n is equal to 332 is equal to 100 into e power k so that is equal to here e power k is equal to 332 by 100 that is 3.32 so now we have to finding capital N at 1 and a half hour that is 3 by 2 hours. Substituting equation 1 
n is equal to 100 into e power 3 by 2 k. So that is equal to here which is can be right 100 into e power k whole power 3 by 2. No, no? But e power k is equal to 3.32 substitute here 100 into 3.32 whole power 3 by 2. This is a simplification we getting 604.93 and nearly equal to 605. So the number of bacteria in the culture after one and a half hour is 605. Okay, this is a law of nature growth. See the next example here. A radioactive substance disintegrates at a rate proportional to its mass when it mo its mass is 10, m 10 mg the rate of disintegration is 0 0.051 mg per day how long will it take for the mass to be reduced from 10 mg to 5 mg so this is a given disintegration day and a decreasing here so directly while is disintegration means you have to finding here uh, mass after which is 10 mg to 5 mg is a decreasing and then in which time the finding here time and so yeah its mass initial time is 10 mg and every day is a decreasing in 0.051 mg decreasing that is equal to given dx by dt is equal to 0.051 the assumption x is equal to its mass and so by using the large uh, law of natural decay and so that is equal to here so assumption x is equal to mass 10 mg at initial time that is initial day x is equal to 10 mg at 0 day so you are given dx by dt disintegration and means dx by dt the rate of change of the mass is decreasing per day minus decreasing or to take the minus and disintegration so dx by dt is decreasing per day minus 0 0.051 mg so now to find time when x is equal to 5 mg so by law of nature decay dx by dt is equal to minus kx where k is a positive and negative is a decreasing and okay na? so dx by dt is equal to here given 0, minus 0 0.051 is equal to minus k x is equal to 10 mg therefore k is equal to 0 0.051 so therefore from equation 1 dx by dt is equal to k while substituting here minus 0 0.0051 x so now solving this equation so by variable separable method 1 by x dx is equal to minus 0 0.051 dt that is equal to log x is equal to minus 0 0.0051 t plus log c therefore log c right inside log of x by c that is equal to base e minus 0 0.051 t therefore x is equal to so c into e power minus 0 0.0051 t n so this equation 2 now we have to finding so given data substituting at 0 time x is equal to 10 c into e power 0 that is c is equal to 10 so now when x is equal to 5 mg find t so that is equal from equation 2 x is equal to 5 now finding t gala time 5 is equal to 10 into e power minus 0 0.051 t that is equal to 5 by 10 means 1 by 2 that is equal to here now take the logarithm on both sides log 1 by 2 is equal to log of e power minus 0 0.0051 t 
that is equal simplification is um, that is equal to here minus 0 0.051 t is equal to log 1 by 2 you take the minus right outside log 2 so t is equal to log 2 by 0 0.0051 that is equal to the result is 135.9 so in the days 136 days and when the mass of substance is decreasing 5 to 10, uh, 10 5 mg in the days 136 okay na this is a law of natural growth or decay so thank you um, for more videos please do subscribe my channel like and share it thank you thank you